So what I want you to do for this activity is I want you to go through and rework the questions that you got wrong on your test so that you're ready for the retest tomorrow. You should be doing this in your notebook on um, page 56. All right, so the first question said, this is question one, there were 15 pieces of fruit in a bowl and six of them are apples. What percentage of the pieces in the fruit of bowl were apples? So the first thing you do, because you see the word percentage, is you should make a percent box. And on every thing, single percent box, you put three numbers to start, zero, zero, and 100%. This is my whole. So I reread the problem, and I look at it, and I see up at the top that 15 pieces of fruit are in the bowl, and six of them are apples. So 15 is my whole. So I put that here. Um, the top line is fruit, six are fruit, so I'm going to put that here. So I have to figure out what percent of the fruit in the bowl are apples. So I look at the top and I see if I can get from 15 down to six. I cannot, so I have to look at six and 15 and think of a number that will divide into both of them. And a number that will divide into both six and 15 is three, because if I count by threes, three, six, nine, 12, 15, I hit 15. So I'm gonna put a three right here. So I'm gonna go from what I know to what I don't know. So what do I need to do to 15 to make it be three? It's going down. So if I'm not sure I can do 15 divided by three, which is five, and so I'm going to use that 5 on the top and the bottom, and I'm going to divide 15 by 5 to get 3, which means I then have to divide 100 by 5, and 100 divided by 5 is 20. So three apples represent 20%, but the question was, how much is 6 apples? So to get from 6, 3 to 6 rather, I'm going to multiply by 2. And if I multiply the top by 2, I need to multiply the bottom by 2. 20 times 2 is 40. That was question 1. Write that in your notebook. Question 2. Select all of the trips that would take 2 hours. Make a ratio table for each situation. So for this question, you should have had 3 ratio tables. One for each situation. So my first ratio table has me going, so my ratio tables are going to be miles, hours, miles, hours, miles, hours. My first one has me going 60 miles per hour, so that's 60 and 1, that's my unit rate. My next table has me going 3 miles per hour, so that's 3 and 1, that's my unit rate. And the last one has me going 80 miles per hour, that is also my unit rate. Whoops, that should be a 1. All right, now I look at it, and this one says I'm going 120 miles. This one says I'm going 1.5 miles. And then the final one says I'm going 160 miles. So I'm going to look at each of these, and I want to look for two in my right-hand column. So to get from 60 down to 120, it's times two. To get from one, I'm going to multiply by two, so that's two. So two hours, two hours, first answer worked. Next one, three down to 1.5. You are going to divide by two because it's going down. The number is getting smaller. Here, 60 and 120, the number was getting bigger. So it was going up, so you multiply. We're going down, so we're going to divide. So three divided by two is one and a half. One divided by two is one half. So that one does not work. Next one, 80 to 160 times 2, because I'm going up, and up meaning going from 80 up to 160, and then times 2 gives me 2, so this one worked. So answers A and C both took, would have taken 2 hours. Next question, Lynn's family has completed 70% of a trip. They have traveled 35 miles. How far is the trip? So the first thing we're going to do, because it's a percent question, is we're going to draw a box. Okay, so on that box, three numbers, always, zero, zero, and 100%. Always, 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 that's what you begin with. All right, I have 70%, so that goes here, because this bottom is percents. Then it says they've traveled 35 miles. 
Here it says they've completed 70% of the trip. They have traveled 35 miles. Because 70% is 35 miles, 35 goes here. This does not represent the hole. We're looking for the hole, so we do not know what goes there. All right, so just like question number one, we're going to go from what we know to what we don't know. So I know this information, and I don't know this, and I can't get from 70 up to 100. So I have to think of a number that will divide into both of them. And a number that divides into 70 and 100 is 10. So I'm going to go from what I know, which is here, to what I don't know, which is now here. So to get from 70 down to 10, I divide by 7. And then I'm going to do 35 divided by 7, which gives me 5. So 10% is 5. So now I'm going to take what I know, which now I know that 5 miles is 10% of the trip. And I'm going to go to what I don't know. So times 10 to get to 100 times 10 to get to 50. So the trip was 50 miles. Okay, next question. Lynn runs around, runs five laps around the track in six minutes. How many minutes per lap, how many laps per minute? If Lynn runs 21 laps at the same rate, how long does it take her? So this is a T-chart question because we are going to be comparing. So I'm going to draw my T-chart. And I'm going to put laps and minutes in my T-chart. I'm going to go with what I began with. So I went with five laps, six minutes. The first question is asking how many minutes per lap. When it says per lap, that is for one lap. So let's go ahead and answer that question. What do I need to do to five to get down to one? Divide by five. So what do I need to do over here? Divide by five. So my answer is six fifths, or when you do that division, 1.2. The next question says, how many laps per minute? So that means we want one minute. So I'm going to put a one here. All right, so what do I need to do to six to make it be one? Divide by six. So what do I need to do over here? Divide by six. So for this question, you should have gotten five sixths, or 0.833333333. Finally, it says if Lynn runs 21 laps at the same rate, how long does it take her? So 21 laps. So I'm going to put the 21 here. And then I'm going to figure out to get from 1 to 21, I'm going to multiply by 21. So then I'm going to take this value and multiply it by 21. And that is 25.2 minutes. Okay. Next question. A ship's captain is mapping the globe, mapping a trip, and he wants to know the distance the ship will travel over certain time intervals. So... Half a mile in 12 and a half, or 12 and a half miles in a half an hour, 25 miles in one hour, 37 and a half miles in one and a half hours. Assuming that the ship travels at a constant speed, what is its speed? So what is its speed? So we are looking for miles per hour. So I'm looking for one hour. So if I look in my chart, one hour is here. So the speed is 25 miles per hour. The answer for that question was 25. All right, next question. Which weighs more, a watermelon that weighs 7.5 kilograms or a baby that weighs 12 pounds? Explain your reasoning. So I'm going to make a T-chart. Into my T-chart, I'm going to put this information because that's what's been given to me. So I'm going to put pounds and kilograms. One pound is 0.45 kilograms. So I can use either piece of information. I can use the 7.5 kilograms and put it here, or I could use the 12 pounds and put it here. 12 pounds is a lot easier to use, so I'm going to use that. So I'm going to put 12 pounds right here. 
And then I'm going to ask myself, what do I need to do to the 1 to make it be 12 times 12? What do I need to do to the 0.45? Multiply it by 12. 0.45 times 12 is 5.4. So that means that the baby weighs 5.4 kilograms. Well, if the watermelon was 7.5 kilograms, which weighs more? The watermelon. Okay, and then the final question, Elena and Jada are 12 miles apart on a path when they start walking toward one another. Elena walks at a constant speed of 5 miles per hour. Jada walks at a constant speed of 3 miles per hour. How long does it take until Elena and Jada meet? So in class, we had drawn a line. We put Elena, we put Jada, and then we had Elena. This is 5 miles in 1 hour. And we had Jada, this was three miles in one hour. So in that first hour, I'm going to put, make a t-shirt, I'm going to have miles and hours. They walked a total of eight miles in that one hour because each girl was walking toward the other and they covered eight miles. So the distance that we're trying to figure out is 12 miles. So just like the other questions, I can't get from 8 to 12, so I'm going to think of a number that divides into 8 and 12, and I'm going to use 4. So I'm going to go from what I know to what I don't know. So 8 to become 4 means I'm dividing by 2. So if I divide this side by 2, I need to divide this side by 2. So 1 divided by 2 equals 1 half or... 0.5. These are the same thing. Now, what do I need to do to 4 to make it be 12 times 3? So what am I going to do here? Times 3. And 5 tenths times 3 is 1.5. And so my time that it would take me would be 1.5 hours. So you need to go over these questions. You are having your retest tomorrow during your um, asynchronous time in math class. If you have any questions, you need to come see me for office hours so that you can go through and um, we can I can answer any questions. Um, so office hours on Wednesday. I am not having, um, oh, what do you call it? I'm not having flex time today for um, you guys because I'm having a test tomorrow in my other class. So thank you very much. And um, let's do better on the retest. retest.